Today I'm going to show you how I made these urban camouflage cloaks for my Astar Militarum Special Forces and did it for less than $2. Alright, so to get started we're going to need our secret ingredient and that is some drawer liner which I got at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. Now this is some really nice stuff and I cut it into little strips to make it a little bit more manageable. It's a little bit tacky to the touch so it'll stick to the model a lot easier even though we're gonna use super glue it kind of holds in place on its own. So as you can see we're just gonna cut it into some strips and then uh, take some slight angles and cut it into the strips. I'm working mostly with really long triangles or kind of odd shaped uh, rectangles and the trick is to kind of work in layers so I'm just taking a small section putting a bit of super glue once I've done a quick little test to see if it fits the area and then I kind of hold it in place until the glue solidifies and dries which with this stuff doesn't really take long it's like a couple of seconds and the glue takes hold and you're gonna tear the material to get it off at that point. And then I just kind of work in layers. Uh, place a piece down and then make sure that the next piece still shows the first piece and just keep going until I've got the amount of coverage that I want. Now there's a lot of details on the backpacks here and as much as I hate covering them up, I liked the look of the camo cloaks more, so even though I did spend a good amount of time painting the model and I'm just going to cover up the details, I like the effect that the cloak gives of still being able to see the details through the holes in the meshing, but kind of giving them that little quality of them blending in with some of the landscape. That's looking pretty good so far, but I feel like we need a little something coming off of his other shoulder here. So I'm just going to cut a quick, small triangular strip, and you know what? let's use this to cover the bedroll on his back here. Yeah, I think that looks a little bit better. Now for the whole squad, I'm not going to show it all, but I'm not doing every member of the squad in the exact same way. I'm doing each one a little bit different to kind of give it a unique factor, a unique quality. All right, I think we just need a little something to come off of his other shoulder pad and he will be done. Now I'm using a toothpick to kind of press the material in and shape it around parts of the model. It works pretty well, but given that I'm using super glue, it does still stick to things. So if you copy my technique, be aware, no matter what you do, if you're using super glue, you're going to get the material stuck to whatever it is you're using. Alright, that looks pretty good. So now we're going to let the super glue fully dry and we're going to give it a quick coating of paint. Now we're going to use some gray from the Artist Loft series to kind of paint the outside of the mesh work. This will give it a nice little subtle blending effect with the ruins and terrain landscape that I've got for my display board. Now I'm only painting the visible outside of the cloak and anything that's on the inside I'm leaving the flat black. This will give it a nice little two-tone coloration without being super apparent at first glance. And I'm also taking care to only paint the outside edges so that the paint doesn't kind of spill through and mess up any of the details on the model. 
Now this material is really easy to work with and super cheap. And the single roll that I bought from the Dollar Tree has enough material that if I wanted to, I could cloak an entire army uh, with this kind of technique and still have some left over. All right, and here we go. I really like how this turned out. It kind of gives a nice subtle effect that really kind of brings an extra element to the army. So thank you everyone for watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe for future content, comment in the comment section, and we will see you all next episode.